Hey guys, VHS Me Man here, and a quick uh, little preface before the video starts. Sorry I haven't been making any videos these past few days. I've been out with a cold. Uh, hopefully not COVID. I've had a, uh, have had congestion and a bad cough, but it's getting a lot better today, so I'm able to make a video right now. So, yeah. Uh, I figured I'd show these tapes to you. Um, after this video, I'll be looking to see if there are any rare openings or closings to these tapes. I also got four DVDs as, at um, the city, some city, a citywide garage sale event I went to. So, I'll show you the tapes. So, I have nine tapes. The first one, so I don't know the year on any of these tapes, so I'll have to take a look at them. Um, so, the first tape is Men in Black, um, starring Mr. Jones and Mr. Smith. Side, other side, top, and the back. Looks like it has uh, Will Smith. Here's a tape with the sticker label. <laughs> and this tape was printed on the 45th week of, it looks like, 1997. I'll be sure to look through this. As well as these next tapes. Next one, Flight of the Intruder. This is a Paramount tape. Stars Danny Glover, as you can see. Side, other side. Here's the top and the back. Oh, I think it's got print day right here, but I'll take a look and see if there's one on this tape. It's a Be Kind, Please Rewind sticker. Here's the tape with the sticker label. End label. This one, this is really hard to make out. The 26th week of 1991. So this might have been uh, when the guy got the tape. I don't know. Next tape, Rush Hour. Stars Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Here's the side, other side, top, and the back. I still have a little bit of congestion, but it's not really too bad. Here's the tape with the ink label. Print date, April 27th, 1999. That reminds me, I should, I'll take a look at the uh, film strip just to see if there's like any damage here. So I'll check on this one as well. Uh, looks fine. All right, I'll check. Um, I'll check the uh, Men in Black tape as well. All right, looks fine. All right, next tape is Batman Forever. It stars Jim Carrey, who I absolutely love. Uh, he's this guy right here. Yeah, Batman Forever. Here's the side, other side, top. The back. Oh, it looks like uh, it's right at the end for me. <laughs> uh, print date is September 4th, 1995. Uh, it doesn't look like there's damage. I like how um, this looks, too. Like, it looks kind of pixelated in a way. Alright, um, next I have three Star Trek tapes, which is very cool. So, I've got Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Here's the side, other side. Here's the top and the back. Whoa, this looks cool. It's got red reels. I've never seen that before. Here's the end label. Printing say T120, I guess. Doesn't look like this tape has a print date or weekend year code. It might be under the end label, though. I'd have to take a look sometime. I don't know. Maybe there isn't one. I really don't know. But yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. I did not expect this tape to have red reels. I haven't, like, opened any of these tapes yet. Next is Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. I hear this one has a uh, pretty rare ending. I've seen uh, What's-His-Face, Super Volcano Excess copy. 
of this tape. Like, I've seen his copy of this. And this is a, um, this is a Gulf Western tape. Here's the end label. This looks like this was printed on the fourth week of 1989. So this is like a 1989 reprint, I'm guessing. I don't know. Next uh, is Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. Side, other side. Top, back. Uh, here's the tape with the sticker label, end label. This one's got a red, um, red, reddish kind of barcode. Or, like, red on the sides, I should say. Print date is the 8th week of 1993. Alright, uh, two more tapes to go. Next, uh, I've got Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And by the way, I do not plan to watch either of these three Star Trek movies until I get the uh, first Star Trek movie. I just don't want to go out of order. You know what I mean? So it looks like this tape's at the middle. This tape looks like it was printed on the 38th week of 1991. I forgot to check for the film strip for any damage again. I should do that right now. Alright. We'll check this. Looks fine. Alright, what about the, um, the search for Spock? Oh, it's like... So this is the uh, actual tape, and then this is just like... I don't even know. Alright, I've got one tape to go, and uh, this is the treat that you guys have actually been waiting for, so... I found this at a garage, at the one on garage sale, um, and I was really, like, not expecting this. It's a sealed copy of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Look at this. Sealed copy, never been opened before. Lucky, lucky find. So I'll have to take the uh, plastic off of this. Just give me one sec. I gotta take this off. Ooh, this is actually uh, kind of hard to get off. Oh, I got some plastic off. All right, I've got the plastic off. Here's the tape, uh, not sealed. So I already showed you, uh, everything else. So yeah, never before opened copy. Never played, I guess, since it is sealed after all. The 42nd week of 1991. This is a really cool copy. I want to do the opening to this sometime. All right, now let's get to the DVDs. So I've got four right here, like I said. First one is a movie that I've actually been wanting to watch for a very long time. It was featured in one of the uh, openings to one of my VHS tapes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have none other than the DVD. Uh, I don't know the years to any of these tapes either. The DVD of Friday. Yep. This is a movie I've been wanting to watch for a very, very long time. And now I can finally watch it. Here's the DVD it's from New Line Home Video. Oh crap, I'm, I might have just showed my face there. <laughs> I'm really trying not to show my face, I promise guys. Like, I'm really trying not to. If you saw it, that was my bad. Next I've got Flubber. 
This is another movie I've been wanting to watch for a while. Here's uh, the tape from Walt Disney Home Video. I'm not. I'm not showing my face. I swear, guys. I'm. Not, I'm trying not to. Next, I've got Minority Report. This is a movie. Uh, seems like it's really good. I've never seen it. I've heard of it before. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Tyler Trister Two is back. Uh, his old copy of this uh, broke, and he literally like. He was freaking out. I, I remember the video to this day. I don't know if it was deleted or not. I just, I remember that, mo like, that specific video very vividly. So this is the uh, disc of, like, the feature, and then this is just bonus features. So we only really care to watch the feature. This is a DreamWorks movie, too, which is interesting. Lastly, I've got the DVD of Taken. If you all know, this uh, has that really uh, infamous quote from uh, this guy right here, Liam Neeson. And it's actually rated PG-13, which I was a little surprised about. I thought this was going to be like rated R or something, but no, it's rated PG-13. Uh, I'm just going to get it back in here. All right, so that's the uh, VHS up or VHS and DVD update. I'll be looking uh, through each of my VHS tapes right here to see if there are any rare openings and closings. If there are, I'll make another video on this. If not, well, I'll see you in the next video I make sometime, which will probably be an opening to one of these tapes. Take care and peace out, guys.